Welcome to our lesson on equivalent fractions. So we're going to use our fraction wall to calculate four different equivalent fractions. So we'll begin with one half. And we're going to write one half as a fraction of a four. So one half is equivalent to something of a four. And to work out what it's equivalent to, we need to multiply the denominator two by two to make four, which means we need to do the same to a numerator. And one times two is two. So you can see that one half here is equivalent and equal to two quarters. And you can see this because they line up perfectly here. If we were to look at thirds, we can say two thirds here is equivalent to how many twelfths? Well, we have three multiplied by four is 12. We do the same to the numerator and 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. So you can see that 2 thirds is equivalent to 8 twelfths. Again, they line up perfectly here. Do you want to try and work out how many eighths is equal to 3 quarters and how many sixths is equal to to two thirds. You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so four multiplied by two is eight, and three multiplied by two is six. So you can see three quarters here is equal and equivalent to six eighths. And from the next one, three multiplied by two is six, and 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. So again, you can see 2 thirds is equivalent to 4 sixths. Okay, let's try some more questions. So do you want to try and use written methods to see which of these fractions are equivalent to 2 fifths? And then to work out these two missing numbers and these two here. You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so for them to be equivalent, you need to multiply the numerator and denominator by the same value. So for our first one, two fifths, well, we multiply the two by six, and five times six does make 30. So these are equivalent. For the next one, two multiplied by four is eight, and five multiplied by four is 20. So these are not equivalent. And for our third one, two times seven, it's 14 and 5 times 7 is 35 and finally 5 times 9 is 45 and 2 times 9 is 18 which is not 17 and for question C we have 2 multiplied by 2 to make 4 so this will be 32 divided by 2 which is 16 and 16 divided by 2 is 8 and two divided by two is one. And finally for question D, five times two is 10, so three times two is six, and then three times three is nine, so five times three will make 15. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.